welcome back to our in-depth Bible study. All right, so I want you to think right now about who knows you best in the world. So who is it? Who knows you more than anyone else? Like, who knows your favorite ice cream flavor? Who knows what makes you sad or scared? Who knows what joke that you've heard a hundred times, but it still makes you laugh? You might think about your parents or your best friend or even your brother or sister. But we're going to talk today about someone who knows you even more than they do. I wonder if you can guess who it is. Our story today comes from God's Word, the Bible. It's about a man named Zacchaeus who wanted to know more about Jesus. Zacchaeus was surprised to learn that Jesus already knew all about him. In fact, I want to go ahead and read out of the Bible. It's the book of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man named Zacchaeus lived there, and he was the chief tax collector and was very rich. Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was, but he was a short man. He could not see Jesus because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed in a sycamore fig tree. He wanted to see Jesus and who was coming his way. Now Jesus reached the spot where Zacchaeus was, and he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this. They began to whisper among themselves. They said, Jesus has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and he said, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of what I own to those who are poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back. I will pay back four times the amount I took. Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Today, salvation has come to your house. You are a member of Abraham's family line. The Son of Man came to look for the lost and to save them. Now, Zacchaeus lived in Jericho. And like it said in there, he is a tax collector. And people of Jericho knew Zacchaeus and they did not like him. They knew he was dishonest. Uh, when he collected the tax money, he even took extra money for himself. So that means that Zacchaeus was stealing from the people. Now, when Jesus came to Jericho, the crowds came to see him and Zacchaeus wanted to see him also. Undoubtedly, Zacchaeus had heard about Jesus and wanted to know Jesus. Zacchaeus went out into the street, but there were a, was already a huge crowd. And as it said in the Bible, Zacchaeus was short and was unable to see above the crowd of people. But the people wouldn't let him through either. So he knew uh, what to do. He knew that he had to pass through the people that didn't like him. So Zacchaeus climbed a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus. To everyone's surprise, Jesus went to that same tree. And he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down right now. I must stay in your house today. Now, could you imagine what Zacchaeus might have been thinking? How does he know my name? How can Jesus know me when we've never met? And if he knows me, why wouldn't he want to stay? Why would he want to stay at my house? Everyone knows me. 
and hates me. Well, Zacchaeus came down from the tree and took Jesus to his house. As he, Zacchaeus ate with Jesus, he got to know Jesus. Jesus changed his life. And Zacchaeus stood up and he promised to give back what he's taken from people, what he stole. And in fact, he was willing to give up half of everything he owned to the poor. The people knew a little about Zacchaeus and they hated him. Jesus knew Zacchaeus completely and still loved him. So who knows you better than anyone? It's not your parents or your best friend. It's not even you. Jesus knows you. He's known you since before you were born, and he knows every bad and sinful thing you've ever done, even the ones that you have never told anybody about. Now, let's get to know Jesus this week, and let's remember that Jesus knows me. Remembering that Jesus knows and loves us completely. So let's go ahead and bow our heads in a simple prayer. Dear God, you know everything about me, the good and the bad. And you love me like no one else. And thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So if you haven't finished your uh, BBS uh, kit today for day one, go ahead and finish it and join us again in our closing video. Until then, many blessings.